All right, and now into InDesign. Now, I find myself using InDesign just about as much as I use Illustrator when working with type, especially when working with publications. So like booklets, even really it's just a great layout tool for printed materials. So if you're making a brochure, a booklet, a just single paged flyer document, a poster, like anything, just about anything that's printed, it's going to be really helpful to use InDesign for, because that's just what it's made for. That's what it's built upon, is making these printed materials. So if we go in here, for instance, one of the really big benefits that you're going to find is the ability for text to travel from one text box to another. Remember, we were talking really briefly about text boxes when we were looking at Adobe Illustrator. However, in InDesign, you have the option to attach these text boxes and make them all work interchangeably. For instance, if I decided these couple of paragraphs and the story are complete junk, I need to get rid of them, I'll delete them, and then you see all the text from the rest of the pages shifts to fill that place. You know, it's not like they're detached and I need to continuously work from one text box to another. That would just take forever. So it gives us the ability to attach text boxes, making basically this is going to be a magazine story or at least a potential one. It gives you far easier control over those circumstances. And remember, we were talking a little bit about styles and how I find paragraph styles and character styles in InDesign far more useful than Photoshop. Um, so here, if I go into paragraph, for instance, you're going to see I have quite a few paragraph styles already made. Now, if I go to the green text, I believe, is controlled under questions and headers. So if I went in here, pulled it off to the side so we can see the changes we make to this, and I wanted to make that 36 points. I want to make it ridiculously huge in this document. I hit that, and you see, because my letting is only at 13, it freaks out. I'll push that down to 48 just so you can see it. Obviously, that's going to make a lot of difficulties going forward in my document here. Let me see if I can make it more reasonable. There we go. Just make it set solid. Okay. So you can tell, though, from this, we have full control over the type selection, and it just makes it that quickly. Like, this is, if I go to my pages area, this is an eight-page document, you know, so decently hefty. It's not like an entire book or magazine or anything, which can get, you know, to a ridiculous number of pages. This is just a really short story for this publication. It makes making those manipulations that much easier. If this was a full book and I wanted to change the text I used for that entire book, it would be so much easier to go into paragraph styles, make that adjustment as opposed to attempting to select each and every paragraph from every page individually and making those adjustments. So that's kind of the general gist of some of the controls you have. You are going to notice right off the bat, for instance, if I just click into this paragraph right here, you're going to see from the get-go we have access to a lot more text control and manipulations than we did in Illustrator or Photoshop. For instance, you pretty much have all of your alignments for paragraphs open to you right here, as well as some of those adjustments like indenting the line, if we wanted to do that. All of those are visible to us right off the bat, as opposed to actually opening up the paragraphs panel or the character panel. So that's really beneficial. Now, you can also tell we have a little bit more control over here. For instance, A is the character formatting controls, quote unquote. So we have access to the type selection, the font selection, the point size, and the lighting all right there, as well as that superscript and small caps thing that we were working with in Illustrator. So as you can tell, we just have a lot more control right off the bat in InDesign than any of the other programs, especially when we're working with just general layout stuff. So let's leave this discussion at that. Again, this was a really brief overview. It was just enough, though, to show you some of the different circumstances you're going to want to use these different tools in. When you're given a task, you should understand which of these tools is going to be the most beneficial for you to use.
So that about covers it for this video. And until next time, thanks again, guys.